If you want to learn how to pick up and throw items in Minecraft animations, stay tuned. What's up survivalists, it's Jay from Team WJ here to enhance your animations and tell your stories. If you're new here, I make Minecraft animation tutorials every Monday, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to not miss any uploads. If you're not, welcome back. One of the ways to pick up and throw items in your Minecraft animations is a method I call switch outs. Essentially, when your character goes to pick up an item, they're not actually picking up that specific item, but a clone of the item parented to their arms. So let's say that the FMR guy here is going to pick up his sword. As usual, we're using the FMR animate rig that you can download for free up here. First, let's animate him reaching for the sword. Once you have that down, select the sword and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate it. Drag the duplicated sword as a child of your character's wrist. To do that, open up FMR Animate, door under Bones, Bones 2, Control Waist, Waist, Control Back Null, Control Back, Back, Shoulders, and choose either the right arm or the left arm, we're using the right arm here, so let's go under Control Arm R, Right Arm, Right Elbow, Right Hand, and there we find Wrist R. Drag the duplicated sword underneath Wrist R. Now if we play it back, we notice that he has an extra sword stuck to his hand. It's time we actually use the switch out technique. Let's say that he picks up the sword at frame 6. Hold Alt and click on the visibility toggle here, and it should all turn green. This means that the sword is visible in the viewport and the renderer. With the sword selected, hit a keyframe on visible and editor, and visible and renderer. Make sure they're on. Go one frame back, and change these to off. Now go back to the actual sword lying on the table. On frame 5, have these set to on, and on frame 6, turn these off. Make sure that the automatic generated keyframe on frame 0 is deleted. Essentially what we've done is we've made the sword on the table turn off as it reaches frame 6, while the other sword turns on on frame 6. Now that that's done, we can continue on with the animation. And there's what that looks like. Okay, so let's say you want to animate your guy throwing something. It'll follow more or less the same technique. For this scene, we have the FMR guy throwing an axe. First, parent the item to your guy's wrist. Here's the windup for anticipation and then the throw. Let's say the throw starts on frame 6. First, let's select and duplicate the axe and move around the timeline a little bit. Make sure the axe stays in place. If for whatever reason your axe is out of position, simply move to the frame you want your axe to be thrown, in my case frame 6, and use the transfer function to move it back into place. Now, more or less the same switch out occurs. On frame 6, we'll make the thrown axe visible. On frame 5, we'll make it invisible. And same for the axe parented for his arm. Now, it's simply a matter of matching the timing of the thrown axe. And there we go. The new axe is visible on frame 5, and the old axe goes invisible on frame 5. After some trial and error to match the trajectory and timing of the axe, there we have our throw animation. Hey! Do you want to learn animation but don't know where to start? Why not check out my Beginners to Advanced playlist designed to help you improve your animations right here. If this video has helped you, don't forget to share it and help your friends too. I'm a YouTuber trying to influence and change Minecraft animations for the better while working on my own animated series, Levislear. You can play a massive role in the development of Levislear by watching more of my videos or checking out my Patreon. With that said and done, this has been Che from Team WJ to improve your animations and tell your stories. Cheers!